Hi, I'm Jason Levine, and in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to burn an audio CD in Adobe Audition CS6. So here we are inside the editor panel, and this is really the most common scenario where you have uh, one long file that contains multiple clips of audio that you'd like to burn to CD. Now, you can just burn this directly, and I'll show you that a little bit later, but first what you really want to do is create marker regions, and you want to be able to label these regions as CD track types so that you can simply drag and drop them into the CD editor. So to do that, all we literally have to do is make a selection. You can see I've got my time selector tool here shortcut key T, and I can hit the M key for marker, or I can go up to the markers panel and just click on the marker button here, and it begins to make markers. So here we go, one, two, three, four. Okay, now while that seems perfect, and it might seem like you're ready to go, there's actually one additional step. You have to turn those Q markers into actual CD track markers, and you'll see that if we're inside the markers panel here, it's going to give you the duration of each marker. This is where we can give them names, but we actually want to come over here and choose CD track as the marker type, and this will indicate to the CD burning panel that these are ready to be burned to CD. So I've already gone, a, gone ahead and done this for you. And these are just some 80s themes that I created years ago for different, uh, different local TV shows back in the day. And you can see if I go into my markers panel now, I've named all of them. I've, uh, uh, I've told Audition that these are all CD track types. So now I have the ability to actually burn these inside the CD layout view. Now, one other thing. If I've simply got this one file, and this is all I want to burn, and I don't want to deal with dragging and dropping and all that stuff, I can actually burn directly from the editor panel. So with this file in focus, I can come up to File, export, burn audio to CD. And it's actually going to tell you that each range will actually be burned to CD as an individual track without a pause. So this is actually very cool because it'll actually take those markers that we've already built and build us basically a four track CD automatically from this one file. Now again, this is what we would call sort of a reference burn, a quick one-off. You can only do this particular technique file by file. All right. If you want to add multiple files, which is what we're going to do next, I'm going to show you how to do that. But just to take note here, this is where you can choose your write mode. You can also do a test mode. You can choose your burn speed. You can choose the number of copies, which is very convenient because again, I can set this for 10 copies and I can quickly burn off 10 copies. It'll keep asking me to insert new CDs. I don't have to go into this dialog again, it's a fast way to make duplicates very quickly. All right, so that's sort of the one-off method. But now let's actually assume that we want to burn not only these individual files, but multiple files inside the CD view. So I can come up to New, CD Layout. And when I do that now, I don't see anything in my markers panel. Well, that's because we have to click on this button here, Show Markers of All Files. And when I do that, it's going to show all of the markers of all the different files that I have inside my files panel. And you can see the only ones that are actually CD ready are these here. So I could choose these four and I can simply click and drag and drop these in. Now again, I've got lots of different file types in here, so I can come up to some of my other files now and you'll notice I've got a mixture. I've got M4As, I've got some waves, I've got MP3s. Doesn't matter what the file type, doesn't matter what the sample rate is, doesn't matter what the bit rate is, Audition will automatically convert everything for you uh, to 44 1 16 bit. That's 44 1000 hertz 16 bit stereo. That's the CD standard. It's going to do all of that for you whether you uh, pre convert them or not. That's one of the nice things about the CD burner. I can simply take some of these files. Here's one from my children's show, Just Play Music. I can drop a couple of these in there. Here's another tune of mine called Carrie Ann. This is an MP3. Again, I can drop that in. And I can drop in my latest single, Pirate Teeth, available now on my blog at buddhajumusic.com for free download. And I can drop that in there too. Now you'll see here that you've got all these different uh, settings for pausing. So this is again the pause at the beginning of each track on the CD. Now the default, the standard is two seconds. If you want a continuous playback, and you'll notice that when we did that reference burn, the one-off burn, it was a seamless playback, no pause. You can actually just click inside the fields here, type in zero, and now you have effectively no pause between each song. And that's really nice if you just want kind of a seamless playback, or if you actually have tracks that cross-fade into one another. Now you cannot change the pause on the first track. That's a default, that's a CD standard. The first track will always have a two-second pause before it begins. But that's how you set all of those parameters there. Now beyond that, if we go into the Properties panel here, here's where you can actually add things like CD text. Now I don't typically do that. A lot of players today don't read CD text information. It's not always without issue. So I would check to see. I would 
would always bird a quick reference just to see if it's going to work before you implement CD text. But if you want to, we allow you to do that. You can see you can add title, artist, MCN, which is basically your media catalog number, kind of like your UPC. I believe they're one and the same. You can add that information there as well. Now, once you've got everything set up the way you want, it's quite possible that you might want to come back to the CD layout later. Perhaps we're not, we're just not sure. We might want to add more tracks to this. We might want to reorganize some of the tracks or reorder some of the tracks. So now I can come up to the File menu, choose File, Save As, and I can actually save my CD layout as a CDLX file. That's an Audition CD layout file. And this is great because it's going to save all the tracks. It's going to save the... Um, uh, the order of all the tracks is going to save any CD text information that we've implemented and again just allows me to come back later and modify this list so I can burn it at a later date. Once I've done that, once I've got everything the way I want it, now I can simply come down here, click on burn audio to CD, there's that familiar dialog that we saw before, and burn my audio right to disk very quickly with any number of copies that I'd like. And that is CD burning in Adobe Audition CS6.